Uh, you extended the curfew, uh, I think, to June 5, uh, like a lot of cities have. Uh, the overall impression this morning is that last night was peaceful relative to prior mm -hmm. nights. Is that true? And do you think curfews made a difference? Well, it's true for Cleveland, and uh, curfews did make a difference here. Our, we had one night of uh, uh, disorder, and uh, that was uh, Saturday night, and we immediately locked down. And as a result of that action, we were able to... Sarah, I um, lost them. It's Sarah. I lost the program. Oh. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, what is the city's view on activating National Guard, uh, the involvement of uh, federal authorities to keep uh, to maintain order? I don't know. Are we back? We lost. I know. I know. Uh, yes, Mr. Thing. Mayor, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I was asking about the city's view about uh, the involvement of National Guard and, and federal authorities to maintain order. Well, National Guard has been uh, very helpful to us. They served as a backup, uh, essential backup for our police division, and uh, it allowed us to then go out and deploy resources in other parts of the city, and the National Guard was able to uh, sit on some areas that allowed us to then move out. Uh, they also assisted uh, in, the, uh, in the neighborhood. So the National Guards were essential. In terms of federal troops, uh, you know, it's a, that's a whole different story. And anybody who understands the culture and mission of a uh, uh, citizen army, a National Guard, and a professional uh, standing army would understand how that uh, doesn't work the same way. Mr. Mayor, it's Sarah. What's your assessment of the damage to local businesses, and what are you doing for them? Well, uh, they have been damaged, uh, and uh, not only in terms of uh, the uh, physical damage, but there is some damage on in terms of a loss of uh, business during the time of curfew. Uh, we don't know exactly what that is. Uh, we're still in uh, in the midst of dealing with. Uh, ensuring that we don't have another night of disorder, uh, but we are working with the uh, business community and we'll have that assessment going forward. And then we'll have a better sense as to whether or not, uh, what type of support we can give them. Uh, Mr. Mayor, it's David Faber. Prior to this social unrest, the concern of a lot of cities across the country was on their budgets, given uh, falling right. tax revenues as a result of the lockdown. Uh, I'm curious, is that still an issue for you? I know Ohio was not har particularly hard hit, but you were locked down. What are you seeing when it comes to the budget in Cleveland? Well, uh, fortunately for this year, we uh, budgeted in a recession for Cleveland. Uh, we anticipated one coming either the fourth quarter this year or the first quarter of next year. Uh, unfortunately, it came in the first quarter of this year with the COVID-19, and it was uh, deeper uh, than we would have expected, and it appears the duration is going to be longer. But because we built in that cushion, uh, we uh, have been able to uh, ride the storm right now. The question with us is how long that will be that we'll be able to do that. Uh, adding in the uh, civil disrest and the, the added cost, particularly in public safety, uh, to uh, address that uh, with fall, uh, declining revenues, as you can see, will, will uh, really uh, uh, expedite whatever issues that we will be having. So we're looking at it, uh, and, and we're v reviewing it on a weekly basis, and, um, and we're looking at our revenue streams and uh, our costs, and, and we're anticipating that if things don't level out soon, then we will have to make uh, cuts. And as you know, with local government, 85% of costs is in personnel and benefits, so uh, that will result in layoffs, which will impact services.